Welcome to 7 Cent Media's Bail or Buy, the show where we bail or buy. I'm Isaac Sensen, and today we have the Hamilton Beach 2, that's one two-way coffee brewer. Here we go. Bail or buy. Ooh, yeah. It's been a long time coming. We've been trying to find fun ways to bring stuff to your house about whether or not it's cool or not. So let's start with this coffee machine. The cool thing about our two-way coffee maker is that it brews coffee from two ways. The two comes from the one, two sections of the coffee maker. The Hamilton Beach is known for making coffee in an office. It is the go-to maker of coffee. Power button, brew temperature, I guess, or just strength, whatever brew strength means timer so that you can start your coffee in the morning and then you move this knob for which side you want. It's a coffee machine. As far as capacity goes, you've got 12 cups on this side and you've got this, which would be perfect for a Hamilton Beach tumbler, not provided with the system, which is weird. Onion for scale. And I, I guess it fills coffee up to about 14 ounces. Speaking of, your Options for coffee reservoirs. You could use the Senseo brand. How do I even get this thing out of here? Which, if you go to your local supermarket, you can find ones that fit into here. Otherwise, it comes with a coffee basket. And note about this coffee basket, it comes with a clever feature. There's two lines on the inside of this thing. A low fill line for eight ounces and a high fill line for 14 ounces of Joe. We're gonna find out. As for capacity, we've had our onion. Let's take a look at a standard size mug. I'm nervous about splashing once we fill it up with the mug that falls all that distance. Will it splash out? Here's a 360 degree perspective. And there's your 360. I don't know if you've ever been to a coffee shop where the guy at the counter does what they call cupping. It's disgusting. Observe. Mm. You know what, I'm honestly surprised. We gotta talk for a second about how this is not good coffee. I figure we're gonna do a review about, you know, go-to office product. You gotta use the go-to office coffee, which means you gotta use the most bulk junky coffee you can find, because that's what Karen in accounting buys. It's not bad, honestly, it's not bad. I'm, I'm kind of impressed. Aesthetically, very pleasing. Uh, comes out of the box very clean, super nice. The quality of the coffee it comes out nice temperature. It filled up very nicely. The strength is good. Uh, as far as the grounds in the cup, I'm not seeing anything. There is a little bit of oil on the top of the coffee. You can't see it, but I am seeing the coffee oil, a product of the basket, not a paper filter. If you wanted to use a paper filter in here, I don't know what size you could find that would fit. So you're going to end up with oil coming out of this side. Up here, if you use the basket that you bring yourself, if you BYOB, you will get a little bit of the oil. If you bring a number, whatever, filter to the party, which is the standard carafe size, you're gonna have that paper artifacting and you're also gonna end up with the standard carafe flavors. So as far as convenience, this is Great convenience, one cup at a time. As far as size, it's perfect size, fits on a desk and is very handsome. The stainless steel accenting is a nice feature. So with all these things in mind, this is a buy. If you want to bail or buy, you know what to do. Do the thing, the channel, all that stuff. 